Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another video. So it has now been probably a couple of months since the last time that we go ahead and make a my farm video. And really it's just because it seemed like development kind of paused on it for a bit. But over the last maybe 42, maybe even 72 hours, David has been pushing out a lot of different updates. And as you can see, there even is a brand new map, but we're going to be going over all of that information as well as actually playing a little bit because a couple of my subscribers did go ahead and supply me with some of the highest level crops that actually just released maybe like an hour or two ago. But honestly, I don't want to waste any more time man let's get right into this as you can see this is the brand new hub as soon as you come into the game so over on your right hand side you kind of have like this little small obstacle course it is extremely hard to do i've attempted this maybe like 50 times already and i just can't make it any further than about right here to this one but apparently once you make it to the very end you can interact with this golden apple which i'm going to be completely honest i have no idea what it gives you some people are saying that it gives you a golden crop and other people are saying other different things so i don't even know what is true and what what isn't until I obviously get it for myself. Maybe at some point later on in this video, I'll go ahead and kind of like let everybody stack up so that I can jump on their head and make it to the end so we can find out what it is. But there's so many other things that I need to show you guys right now that I don't really want to focus on that. Now, before I continue showing you guys everything else, I do want to let you know that David has publicly said that he's going to be hiring someone to redo this entire map at some point for the time being. I believe this map was made by Gavin, which is one of the developers for Big Paintball. And I'm gonna keep it real with you, man. I kind of really, really like how it's coming out so far. But as you can see here, there is two teleporters as soon as you come into the hub. There's one that says my farm and one that says shop. Coming into the shop one is going to take you basically to where you purchase all of your different crops. This middle one being the Dominus tree, I believe is the most expensive one. It's like $10,000. That's even better than the rainbow one, which I thought was the top one. But apparently that's a thing of the past. And if we look down here to my crop section in my inventory, you'll see that I have 31 of these Dominus ones because one of you incredibly awesome subscribers, which unfortunately I do not remember remember the name right now and he's not in my lobby anymore did go ahead and give me 31 of these so I just want to go ahead and say thank you so much if you are watching this video but anyways as I was saying these are the crops that you can go ahead and grab so far and then back here you have basically your selling stand again pretty basic all of this stuff is probably going to change in the future if not maybe within the next couple of days because David has been pretty much updating this throughout the entire day multiple times now over here we have the water hole which is exactly where you get your water in order to be able to water all the crops if you notice something a little bit different since the last time that we made a video on this there is kind of like a water jug on your back and this can be upgraded now so over here on the right hand side right under your money your inventory as well as how much water you're holding there's a shop button clicking on this button will then take you to this shop which is completely separate from the shop that sells crops and this allows you to go ahead and upgrade your watering can basically three different tiers the final one being kind of like this dark matter looking one which is actually called a haunted watering can for fifteen thousand dollars another thing that was recently recently added is this fountain it's obviously something just to decorate but I feel like in this game decorating is going to definitely be an option because wait till you guys see how massive our farm is so again coming back over here to the hub now let's teleport to my farm and this is what we got working with right now dude it looks really really good but honestly it could be a little confusing for those of you that are just starting into the game because it kind of seems like everybody has one cohesive farm which is not the case at all so basically the farm that I am seeing right now now is my farm but other players are able to come into this area and they can see their own farms it's honestly a little confusing especially now that i'm explaining it but i guess to really simplify it even though these players are walking around in my farm right now technically they don't see my farm they see their own but yeah i'm gonna go ahead really quickly and place down some of these so that i have them out i also need to water these because we will definitely be getting the most amount of money out of these unfortunately i only have one worker helping me out right now so he's not going to be able to water all of these by himself but if you notice once you come over to the area where your farm is another menu pops up on top of the previous ui where it allows you to go ahead and purchase more workers i actually just realized that the first one is a hundred dollars so i'm going to upgrade that one the next one is 420 so let's get that one as well i can also afford the 600 i kind of just want to dump all my money into the farmers all right and that's pretty much the last one because the next one is 1250 and i only have 750 dollars. so again i'm going to have to continue helping out these guys because they're also focusing on the stuff that i have over here in the middle now let's say your crop has gone ahead and fully grown out you'll be able to know this by seeing obviously the sparkle particle that's going off here it's literally just as simple as walking up to it you'll be able to take it out and right there you'll notice that now in my inventory i have a crown as well as a corn i actually have no idea how much the crown goes for so let's place this over here so we can see how much the customers pay for this crown because i know just about every other piece of crop is like ten dollars so let's see hmm okay so we have another buyer coming for the crown that 
only gave $10. Okay, so I guess everything minus the orange is $10 because an orange just sold for $18. All right, well, hopefully these over here are a lot better than $10. <laughs> now, a couple of things to note, when you do end up harvesting your stuff, it doesn't go away. All you have to do is just come back to the same patch and place water on it, and it will regrow from that same exact patch. So don't think that you need to buy a mass amount of these in order to be able to keep planting them over time. That isn't necessary at all. Oh, dude, look at the second stage of the Dominus tree. It's like super bright. So I think the first goals that I want to accomplish for this video is not only being able to purchase our very first extension of land, but I also want to try and get that haunted watering can, which honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should create an extended path over here and just make another watering station. So that way we don't have to keep going back and forth and my farmers don't really have to travel that far of a distance. So we have a little bit of path here. Let's go ahead and build all the way down, maybe about that far and then swap over to our walls. Do the same thing basically that we have on the other side. Oh, I really like how it just snaps and creates the corner, dude. That's so cool. So if you notice right here, it doesn't really look like it's going to make a lot of sense. But then as soon as you place it down, it snaps and makes that corner. All right. So now we have to teleport to the shop and obviously get a couple more of these water holes, which man, they're a hundred dollars a piece. This is going to be expensive. Do I even have any? No, I do not. Okay. So I'll grab four of these, even though I don't really have enough space for four. Yo, let's go. The first one is made now. That looks super sick, dude. What? All right. So one of my farmers actually went ahead and collected that and took it over there, but I didn't really get to see how much it sold for because it literally instantly sold. What I will say though, is that I'm back at $1,400. So I guess it sold for a pretty good amount. Actually, we have another one. So let's go ahead and see how much this sells for now. I don't know if I was the one that picked it. Perfect. So that's going to chill right there. Let's see when a customer comes and grabs it. So here he comes. Let's see if he's going to grab that. He did $666 just for that one Dominus. No way, dude. We're going to be banking right now. Let's go. And all of mine are getting ready now. Oh, dude, this is sick. Look at that. We have three for sale right now. And a VIP customer just came in. So which one is the VIP? Oh, this guy. So the guy with the crown is the VIP. How much is he going to give me? $6,660. That is crazy, dude. Look, we're already at $10,000 and we have so many more to sell. We actually might be able to get this haunted watering can pretty much instantly. All right. So we have a full inventory of them. Let's place down all five of these. And we still have so many more that are popping up, dude. This is insane. We now have $17,000. And I'm really starting to think that maybe it's in my best interest to just get rid of all of these and only have the Dominus ones because, dude, this is super crazy. I know what's the first thing that I definitely want to get right now, though. I have to get this haunted watering can. How much is this going to increase my water holding, which is now 12? Oh, that's not even that much. But Lebra Santos, one is trading me seven of the Dominus plant. 21 of the rainbow for free? Yo, thank you. What an actual legend. Dude, why is everybody helping me out? This is crazy. Gabito Huegos 2 just gave me another one of the Dominus plants. Thank you. Talk about actual lifesavers, huh? So now we have eight more. Let's place these down right next to the other ones. I'm surprised how close we can actually get to these portals. And right now we are also going to be making our very first purchase of land, which is only a thousand dollars. What? How much is my second one going to be? Two thousand this is cheap dude all right well, what we can do is on this side we can start planting all of our rainbow ones oh okay so not only does it allow you to hold more water but it actually waters each one of the crops a lot quicker too also with all of this extra money that we have i definitely want to go ahead and purchase some more of these farmers so we can get things flowing next one is three thousand dollars and we're right now sitting at 2k oh man these rainbow ones take a lot of water they only grow one stage and then they instantly need water again all right man so i feel like i've made quite a bit of progress and i'm sure that you guys get the general idea right now we are sitting at seventeen thousand dollars again i did go ahead and get the haunting watering can and look at all of our dominus crops dude this was probably one of the biggest updates that they've done to my farm since the whole entire development started and i have to say man i'm really liking it definitely super excited to see how far along this game goes in the next couple of days maybe even within the next week again as i mentioned at the start if you would like to see what is at the apple let me know in the comments maybe i'll go ahead and do a follow-up video just me trying to do this legit because i feel like having people oh oh my bro i just did it oh my god i haven't made it this far i i know i'm gonna fail but it it's worth a try right
Oh, no, dude. But anyways, man, as I was saying, if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all types of different content. Although I'm more than 100% sure there's going to be a total wipe when this game does release. Keep in mind, that isn't confirmed. It's very likely that we might not see a wipe. I will personally be farming this game quite literally for the next couple of days. And I'll make sure to come back to you guys with another video on my progress. But that's going to go ahead and do it for today. Like always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.